Hi everyone, so today we'll be making one of my favorite bakery items. We'll be making pineapple buns with cream cheese filling. If you have not tried this bun before, give it a try. It's totally worth it. You can make this with custard fillings, you could do red beans or leave it out altogether. Though I personally prefer cream cheese. Now let's get started with the first part. So we'll be making the glutinous starch first. This is supposed to help make the bun soft. Start with 1 and 2 thirds tablespoon of bread flour. Put that in a cooking pot. Next add 1 half cup of water. Now we're going to be cooking the mixture on the stove top for about 5 to 7 minutes on medium heat. Keep on stirring it until it becomes a thick paste texture. Once it's done, transfer it to a bowl and cover it with some plastic wrap. We will be using this later. Now we'll be making the dough for the buns. You will need 2 and 3 4 cups of bread flour. Add 4 tablespoons of sugar. Next, add 1 packet of instant yeast or 1 fourth ounce. Give it a stir to mix it up. Now add 1 egg. Next, we'll be adding the glutinous starch from earlier to the mixture. Now add 3 tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk. Add 1 half cup of warm milk. Now give it a good mix with an electric hand mixer with a dough hook. You can also do this by hand or use a stand mixer as well. Mix the dough for 3 to 5 minutes until it's combined. Add 3 tablespoons of softened butter to it. Add one and a half teaspoon of salt. Give it a good mix for about eight to ten minutes until the dough becomes stretchy and elastic. It's okay for the dough to be a little bit sticky. Do feel free to use a little bit of oil or flour when handling it. Now we'll be forming a ball with the dough. This helps the dough rise better. Now put the dough into a lightly greased bowl and cover it with some plastic wrap or a damp towel. Put it in a warm place for the dough to rise. Take out the dough after one and a half to two hours. It should now be double in size. Now divide the dough into 16 equal pieces. Fold the dough in half a couple times before you form a ball. To help minimize the bun from flattening too much while baking, what I like to do is pinch the two sides together, kind of like when you're making a dumpling. Now pinch the long side together and smooth it out. Place the dough on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Make sure to leave spaces between the dough ball since they will be increasing in size. Cover it up with a plastic wrap for the dough ball to farther rise. It should take about one hour. While the dough is rising, let's go ahead and do the toppings for the bun. Use 1 and 1 half cup of cake flour. Now use 1 cup of powdered sugar. Add 1 half teaspoon of baking powder. Now do 1 4 teaspoon of baking soda. Add 1 egg yolk. Now do 3 tablespoons of melted butter. Next, add 1 tablespoon of whole milk that's in room temperature. Add 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now give the mixture a good mix. You're going to have to knead the dough for about 3 to 5 minutes until the dough becomes smooth. The dough will look a little bit crumbly, but that's okay. We do want it to be a little bit crumbly so that when we bake it, the toppings will crack. That's what give the bun the pineapple look. 
It should look something like this once you're done kneading it. Now divide the dough for the toppings into 16 equal parts. Shape each of the pieces into a ball so that it will be easier to roll. Roll the ball horizontally and vertically until you have a flat pancake shape. Now set all the toppings aside while we go and grab the bun. Now unwrap the buns. By now, they should be about double in size. Now place the topping on the bun. Make sure to gently press around it so that it's better attached. Now take two egg yolk. We will be brushing this on top of the toppings. This will help give colors to the topping. Once you finish brushing the toppings with the egg yolk, place it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes. Now while that's baking, let's prepare the cream cheese filling. You will need 8 ounces of cream cheese. You will need 1 cup of having whipping cream. Since we'll be whipping this in portion, start with the 2 third cups and save 1 third cup for later. Now add half a cup of powdered sugar. Give it a good mix. Now add the final 1 third cup of heavy whipping cream. Whip it until it's smooth. Once you have stiff peak, you can transfer the fillings to a piping bag. You can also use a resealable plastic bag as well. Once the buns are finished baking, take it out of the ovens and let it sit for about 5 minutes. Now once the buns are cool enough to handle, we will be adding the fillings. Now we have ourselves a finished pineapple bun with cream cheese filling. All the details of this recipe will be in our blog post. That's it for today's recipe. If you like this recipe, share with your friends or family. Don't forget to subscribe for more yummy recipe. Follow us on Instagram and our blog. All the information are given below in the description box. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.